Wake up, Warhawks! Today is Tuesday, August 13, 2019, and I'm Donna Christian here with your morning announcements. And I'm Jalen White. Today's announcements are brought to you by Hawk Sauce. Turn up the heat. Jalen, I think we're going to need that Hawk Sauce to turn it down a bit. We're under a heat as of, as of emergency for the most of the week yesterday after school practice was moved inside, and it was still hot inside. Whoever opened that bottle of sauce needs to close it back. Today's weather is a dismal 98 with a low of 77. It's definitely going to pour rain. The heat index is going to reach around 113 in parts of Alabama. Make sure you keep drinking water. Student Government Association elections will take place in English at the end of the week. Tomorrow is the last day to turn your teacher recognition forms into run for office or class representatives. Ballots will be created at the end of the day Wednesday. Students running for president, vice president, and secretary will be performing a quick speech to the student body by video. The speeches should be no longer than 90 seconds. A sign-up list for time is located outside Ms. Fulford's door. Make sure you check the job descriptions before you volunteer. Your commitment will last for the full school year. It takes around two to three hours of your free time per month, except during homecoming week. Homecoming week is killer. You have to have at least a 3.0 GPA to continue to be a role model among your peers and a positive representative of Delta High. You have to be good in standing, meaning no suspensions or major handbook violations, and a good attendance record. President and Vice President need to be a junior or senior. Generally speaking, your job is to act as your resource to classmates, represent your class at events, attend all SGA events, promote those events, and to select input on issues of concern from members of your class. Your job is to pull us together, not apart. Future Farmers of America is taking on new members. The club fee is $12. See Mr. Jackson or Mr. Yelton for more details. Future Business Leaders of America is taking on new members and a few new officers. See Ms. McNair or Ms. Cancel for more information. Basic Club, the Christian club on campus is having their first meeting tomorrow morning. Wednesday, August 14th at 7.20 in the morning at the flagpole. All are welcome to participate. A light breakfast is available at those clubs. Dress and school attire. The first football game is scheduled for next Friday. A pep battle will take place during the seventh period. Classes will still have a little bit of time to coordinate their festivals. Fest these remember news, yes, seventh grade. If you don't stand up, cheer, they won't invite your class back. So get it together. ASAP. Shout out to the coaching staff, RTC, and the band for going to American Red Cross yard training last night during their free time. For free. They recertify every year, but actually went to the police department for more intensive training this time. Thanks to the Devil Police Department, Sergeant Medley, and his ex excellent staff for their assistance. Lockers are still available to purchase in the front office are $10. Parking passes are $20. The guidance department is back to a regular schedule now and available for counseling as needed. Information for scholarships for seniors will be coming out at the end of the next week. The September 8th testing date is around the corner. Remember to bring back your health form back to your nurse or your first period teachers. Conduct forms can also be returned to your first period teacher. That's all for today. Go Warhawks!